Hello, everyone. I'm Rock Xu, Chief Information Officer at Wanfang Hospital. I'm glad to introduce RTLS to you. In the past few years, many different manufacturers have introduced this real time positioning system to us. The reason we chose Advantech's RTLS solution is the system. The system was stable enough during trial operation. And the system met our needs and made some customized changes for us. It's great to find such a partner that could complete the system implementation for us. So then, let's take a look at the RTLS system. This screen is the actual screen of our operating room. You can see this is a real-time operating room location map. There's a total of 18 rooms in the operating room area, and there are probably 130 devices. We do positioning and tracking of around 110 devices. Of those 110 devices, 60 are used to track the operating room equipment, and 25 are used to track special anesthetic equipment. Another 25 are used to track our anesthetic drug plate. Next, I'll show you more about the RTLS. From the screen, you can see there are many different colors here. We can check the tag list, which shows all the tags currently in our location, what kind of equipment they are, and the battery level of the tags can be displayed. Also, the tag's current location, like in the operating room or corridor. Is there a need to record the entire track? And why are there green and red flags on the tag list? In fact, sometimes we lend a lot of equipment from the operating room to other places so the flags help us know whether the borrowed items have been returned or not. If the battery level is low, the yellow flag means that the equipment may require some action, like maintenance or battery change. We've already used the RTLS in our hospital for quite some time. Under normal circumstances, the battery life is about three to six months. We replaced the battery for the equipment tags around a month ago, and the battery level looks good. This means that the stability of the system is very good. In fact, there are many other functions, such as, there's another list page. This list explains what category the tags belong to. In the list, you can see which tags belong to which category. For example, the tag belongs to the pharmacy or operating room, and the classification via this page is very clear. Through the group list page, we can see there's a different color for each tag group of the system. The group image system is marked in green and the group ultrasound in orange. There are many different ways to set the grouping. For example, some people may indicate the equipment according to unit price, like equipment costing more than 1 million marked in red. With the setting, we can actually see the red tags on the screen mean valuable equipment and where it is now. For things like our control drugs, we can see purple tags. Let's go back to the screen and take a look at this place. As it's our pharmacy, there are a lot of controlled drug boxes here. Therefore, we always keep an eye on the controlled drug boxes. For example, tag number 98 is in our operating room 6 now. There's a controlled drug box here. How to do further operations in this area? In fact, if you move the mouse here, you'll see that there are many settings, including the map orientation. If I scroll the screen up, you can see it in this place. If I want to find all the controlled drug boxes, I can just click here and filter it out. Then there's only the controlled drug box tag we selected left on the screen. This function is very convenient. The next thing we see is that, in addition to the filter function, there's another function in RTLS that we find very useful. Sometimes we have to know what operations were performed in OR1 and some operations in OR2. We assume this is a cardiovascular bypass surgery in OR1 and need to know what equipment has to be there. In the beginning, without the system, we might have forgotten something. But for now, and via the historic track review function, we could know the kind of surgery and equipment and whether all the equipment arrived on time or not. So for example, we set the query time range from today midnight to the current time. Then I key in a tag number, for example, tag number four. The system will help to do some classification. We can see that since January of this year, or even earlier, some historic track has been recorded in the past. Let's take a look. For example, this is a device used in the surgery imaging system. There's a tracking time. Let's click replay. The system will repeat the movement track of the equipment. For example, after coming out from OR6, 
it was then moved to the corridor, then to this place, and then there. So what's the benefit of this historic track? First, it's an electronic fence that can control your movement at any time, showing whether the range has been exceeded, or it can display the historic track of the equipment. You can imagine that this is similar to a smart bracelet, which can show how many steps you've taken. So suppose we bought three pieces of exactly the same equipment. You can see that we've used the first one for a long time. Then we can opt to use the third one. In this way, the overall balance will allow all equipment to have a better product lifetime. After sharing my experiences with Advantex RTLS, I'd like to visit the head nurse of the operating room to talk more about the RTLS in Wanfang Hospital. She'll be sharing her experiences, further discussing how the RTLS has impacted her clinical experience. Hello, everyone. We've invited Yingyu Chun, the head nurse of the operating room, to join us. She's been working in Wanfang Hospital for 20 years. The reason we're having this talk today is because in the past, the OR would invite the information management office over for some discussion to see what kind of system could solve their management problems. So I'd like to ask our head nurse, before the implementation of the real-time location system, in terms of preparation for surgery, finding instruments, and so on, how long does it usually take to do this before surgery? Well, after each shift, we have to hand over to the next shift, which involves preparing the equipment and ensuring the OR is completely ready. This process usually takes around 20 to 30 minutes because we need to prepare all necessary equipment, surgical instruments, and sterile materials. So it takes 20 minutes, but now you can see them directly on this RTLS screen. Yes, using the RTLS makes the preparation much quicker and convenient. By glancing, I know the location of all the necessary equipment. I noticed a lot of different groups on the screen in the earlier introduction. What kind of basis is used for these groups? I told everyone earlier that we might use the price of the equipment as the basis for some categories. So what do the different colors mean to the head nurse? We color code the instrument according to usage. For example, the imaging system is marked in green, controlled drug containers are in purple, and the x-ray machines are in yellow. With this color coding system, I can know the exact position of the equipment by simply looking at the RTLS. This means we don't have to walk around the OR looking for specific items and instruments. So that means there's such a color grouping concept for now. Are there other ways of grouping? I just saw that the controlled drug boxes are numbered in the 90s, then ultrasound or x-ray machines. It appears the numbers vary. How are the numbers selected? Yes, we also number each device as well as color code them. For example, number 1 to 10 are for imaging systems, and number 90 to 100 are the controlled drug containers. I see. I'd like to ask one more question. We've just been using the positioning function to locate equipment, but in the past, I'd often see nursing staff looking for people at nursing stations or in the OR trying to locate cleaning staff or other clinical staff. Do you plan to use the system to locate specific staff in the future? Yes, we will. We hope to extend the RTLS to the cleaning staff. When the cleaning staff are working in a certain area, but I need them to sanitize another area, it can be hard to find them. Either they don't have signal or they don't notice their phone ringing. This can be quite frustrating when looking for a specific personnel. So it's easier to look for equipment yes. or people. Now you can see the RTLS tag placed on the equipment, and the tag yes. size is relatively small. Actually, the RTLS tag can fit any kind of equipment. We also expect it to have more functions, like the tag could display the battery level directly and so on. In addition to this, is there anything you'd like to see improved so you can move forward with Advantech's RTLS? Actually, the RTLS system has been very beneficial. For example, the tag display alerts if the equipment is being taken out of the operating room. However, we hope to optimize the system interface to show the equipment information directly on the tag. This will help us easily understand equipment status. By status, do you mean showing the battery status? Or explaining in further detail the distance it's been moved today? I can imagine that if a piece of equipment shows it's been used too much, do you have any more experiences or suggestions regarding Advantech's RTLS you'd like to share? Besides the tag, 
it would be good if the interface was optimized and the display functions were extended. This would increase the overall convenience and usability and help us work more efficiently. We can see there's a lot of room for development with the display, and we hope Advantech can meet future needs. Now we'd like to thank the head nurse for being interviewed today. Thank you. Thank you for your Thanks time. Thanks for sharing. We hope to have further cooperation with Advantech in the future. For example, in the future, there will be Bluetooth 5.1 technology. With Bluetooth 5.1, there will be more different angles, the distance is more accurate, with more efficient batteries. Such developments will make future operation of RTLS more precise. At present, we're looking forward to optimizing the interface and making the map more visually appealing. This is the goal that Wanfang Hospital and Advantech want to achieve together in the future.